Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a space weather news update. Monday, August 15th, around 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2022. We have an uptick on our sun, and it's fun. Let's take a look. We have some major uptick as of our last podcast here. We were talking about this long-duration plasma filament eruption coupled with the solar uh, with the coronal hole coming the 18th, but we've had multiple M flares and coronal mass ejections are now headed our way. Take a look at the three-day geomagnetic forecast. Now, this is an underestimation of what may be coming because these flares keep coming. This could be re re-accentuating here on the 19th and continuing to move on. So this is a long duration geomagnetic event could be lasting for three days. So heads up there like swimwear. Now, first I want to take you over here to the daily solar wind at Soho discover solon.info. If you want to back this up where we've been seeing a monthly pattern of uptick quite significantly going back to April. So on April 20th, we had a massive spike in geomagnetic activity. And around uh, May 20th, we were in the middle of two spikes. And here we have another peak here around exactly 620. So on June 20th, we had a major geomagnetic spike. And guess where this spike is? Holy macaroni, you guessed it, 720. And now we are just five days out from 820 where we've seen these double peak patterns matching up for five straight months, eight, the, the second week and the late second week of each month. So now we've had the first peak here in the beginning of August, second peak, where do you think it's going to happen? August 20th. We're going to have a peak in geomagnetic storm, which I believe will be up in the 800 range here, matching all of the other peaks. Now, a uh, some people are claiming that there's a 5.9 month cycle, but it doesn't corroborate with the data. So they must be using mathematical analysis, spectral analysis, or something that does not actually reflect the data. We're using the actual data in short term because things are happening rapidly and mathematics is not going to show us what the future brings. Ob observational science where we actually look at the data and make a conclusion based on the cyclicity we see has proved correct. Through the last two cycles, we were correct on both peaks, and now we're saying August 20th for the next peak. So it'll be the 19th to the 20th when we're going to get up to uh, KP6 or 7. And that is what the prediction is saying, the 18th and 19th. So we're going to start peaking on the 18th. We'll have a second peak on the 19th, in my opinion. But the model holds true. Now we've had some, <laughs> a cacophony of events uh, of M flares. We had an M1, M2.4, another M1, another M1, another high C flare, and the activity has been picking up. Let's see what they say over at solarham.net on the pickup. Solar activity has increased to moderate levels on Monday with two M flares around AR3078. Now this is a region down south, we were getting shots from the, uh, the filament released from up right here, and we're now getting shots from down south here at AR3078 near center disk. High level C flares as well, C9.9. Um, the largest event of the day centered around 3078 was an M2.7 flare at 1654 UTC, uh, updated in the chronograph, and here you can see ISWA has updated the model with this new flare, which is directly Earth-facing, according to ISWA. Now, according to other models, it may be a little different. We'll get to that in just a moment. But you can see here, coronal hole 14, which is our biggest worry, coupling with all these geomagnetic events, making a one, two, three punch now. And according to NOAA and the WSA Enlil Solar Spiral, let's, did you just see that just happen there? They have multiple events coupling up now and accentuating this to a double plasma bump with an initial bump on Earth. So here you can see the plasma filament released, then another CME here. Now we have another CME that's going south. All three of these are going to line up, and they don't have it on the model yet, so stay tuned for the updated model in the morning. 
But we do know from the historical data in the last six months what's been happening on the sun, a double peak in the center of each month corresponding to the 20th of the month being near the peak. So this month it'll be the 18th and the 19th, but it will certainly be corresponding to the peak. Now here we can go walk through the 14th. There is the coronal, there's the filament, and then there are some of the CMEs we're worried about. So here is the filament release, and then one, two, Boom! Three CMEs since then, since our last update. Now, if you haven't watched the podcast at Oppenheimer Ranch that came out just before this video, we implore you to go over there. And I have a discussion with the CEO, Chase Hudson of Hemp Lucid, where we talk about the future of plant medicine. Please tune in there to get square. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance as tons of stuff are headed towards earth and they will challenge our magnetosphere and then they will challenge the communication the satellites everything on earth starting on the late on the 17th through late on the 19th we're going to have some geomagnetic fireworks on planet earth testing the magnetosphere as we deepen into the grand solar minimum as we deepen into the magnetic reversal and as we deepen into the mystery of real science, who's covering it, and what we can predict. And that's a boom. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Smash the thumbs up. Become a Patreon and support the work we do. We love you. Be safe. And that's a boom. Mm -hmm.